Wildfires are entirely dependent on the global climate and how that manifests locally. To make wildfires possible, certain conditions must occur over a significant number of years beforehand. A decade or so of a consistent, temperate climate will allow the growth of rich vegetation. If this is followed by a period of strong heat, with little moisture, the vegetation will dry out. This dried out vegetation can act like a giant mass of kindling. A single spark can set fire to the whole area. Humans are the biggest causes of wildfires by some margin. They may be started accidentally or as a deliberate act of arson. But there are natural causes too. Fires can be started by a lightning strike during a storm. It is also possible for wildfires to begin through spontaneous combustion. As a mass of dead vegetation decomposes, it releases heat. You can feel this if you put your hand in a compost heap. When this is intensified by the heat of the sun, the dry outer layer of the composting mass can ignite. Once alight, the fire will travel quickly through the dry vegetation. Wind is a particular danger as it can blow sparks long distances to start new fires elsewhere. The fire may move along the ground, consuming fallen leaves, tree debris and low-lying shrubbery. This is known as a crawl fire. Or a fire may move through the treetops as a crown fire. This will suck all the oxygen from the area below and asphyxiate anything underneath. In many forests, the most efficient way to prevent forest fires is to undertake controlled burns, which diversifies the local species and reduces the amount of fuel available to a wildfire.